Last time on Gaming Through the Ages. I played Super Mario Sunshine from 2002 on the GameCube, which had me playing as Mario who was finally going on a holiday. Or, as he thought. The island he went to vacation on had been graffitied by a Mario lookalike and it was up to Mario to clean up the island. The water effects here were incredible and graphically this was a huge improvement over Super Mario 64 that we played on the Nintendo 64 due to the higher resolution textures and more detailed and larger worlds. Will we continue to see an increase in texture resolution in future 3D worlds? Keep watching to find out. Welcome to Gaming Through the Ages, the series where we take a look at games from many different genres and consoles through time from 1975 to now in chronological order. Once we've reached modern times, we start back at 1975 and explore a different group of games. Viewers of this series were given the opportunity to pick any game made in 2003 for the PlayStation 2, GameCube or Xbox. The Simpsons Hidden Run for the PlayStation 2 got the most votes. In this open world game, which is a piratical take on Grand Theft Auto 3, we play as many different Simpsons characters in their quest to uncover the truth behind the strange incidents occurring in Springfield, such as security cameras, mysterious fans and crop circles. Will we manage to solve the mystery? Keep watching to find out. Okay, here we are finally back on the PlayStation 2, ready to play The Simpsons Hidden Run. Now, we've kind of been flicking between the GameCube and the PS2 quite a lot in the sixth generation. Um, they both seem to just be really good consoles from what we've seen so far. This is taking a while. Am I about to watch a movie or play a game? And why there's so many intros? Just skip. I feel like I'm watching an episode of The Simpsons right now. This is insane. Stop it with the intros! Can't have that music. Okay, what have we got here? So these are what look like wasps, but from what I've heard, they're a little more than that. They seem to be cameras or something else. Oh, look at that. The Simpsons house here. <laughs> it's so cool to see the Simpsons in 3D. I'm used to seeing them in 2D on TV, but look at this full 3D action we've got here. violent start to the series. Bye bye music, can't have any music here. Um, YouTube when it's invented will actually kill me. So, out of that, this is a really cool title screen. You go around and it's like in this Homer Simpson's lounge room where he spends so much time. This town is so dark. <laughs> and you're seeing like people outside and stuff. It's just quite a unique title screen from what I've seen. Anyway, let's go to New Game. endorsing a new cola, kids, and this one isn't poisonous to anybody. That we know of. <laughs> new and improved buzz cola is made from only the finest sugars and waters. Plus, it has a special ingredient, too hot, for the FDA. It'll give you the get up and go you need to do all the pathetic stuff you have to do. Try new improved buzz cola. Mm, They're so cola. cruel to children, Let's the pathetic stuff you have cola. to do. <laughs> Oh, and he's like addicted to it already. 90% of video games start with easy tutorial level. <laughs> oh, look at this. All right, player one, uh, Homer. I mean, Homer. Use a directional button or left analog stick to move around. This is called walking. <laughs> Press the X button to jump and hold down the circle button to run. Very condescending, this game and right jump now. Again to get a little extra push. Got it? Talk to Marge. Now, just before we talk to Marge, I want to have a little look around. There it is, the famous Simpsons house right in front of us. We got the word Simpson on the mailbox there. Press the triangle button to get into the car. And don't take all day, this is the tutorial. <laughs> These tutorials are a little bit annoying, to be honest, but they're helpful, I guess. We're doing a 360 here of Homer Simpson's pink car. Homer Simpson's pink... Why the heck does he have a pink car? I've never realised that he has a pink car until right now. <laughs> okay, now let's have a look at this tree. I just want to see here, do we have 2D sprites hiding within this 3D world? It's like flat 2D sprites that are sprung out to 
make a 3D ish tree. Ah, and look at the way I just walk through the tree. The tree just intersects Homer Simpson's body. As 3D as this tree is, it's definitely made of 2D components. But you know what? I'm gonna let that one slide because it, it, it's pretty well done. It's not like a flat 2D tree that always faces the player. It's it's well done. Anyway, let's go talk to Marge, as it told us to do a while ago. Homie, somebody ate every dessert in the house. I need you to run to the store and pick up I some wonder who that was. with the miniature pies in it. Oh, it must have been one of our kids. It's probably Milhouse. <laughs> Plus of oh, I love the humor here. <laughs> if you haven't watched The Simpsons, Milhouse isn't even one of his kids. It's like Bart, his kid's best friend. So we've got to go to the Quickie Mart. Let's get into our car. Okay, homeboy, here's how you drive this crab box. Press the X button to accelerate and use the left analog stick or directional button to steer. The circle button is your brake and reverse. And These the tutorials are handling. very slow you know, and could be like done a lot quicker. <laughs> I'm sorry, the tutorials are driving me nuts a little bit. That is so cool, I just got into this car. Okay, let's drive. Oh, look at this, this remind, look at this open world and it's so... <laughs> what? Oh, no, I have a wedgie. Ooh, the vibration's tickling my feet. <laughs> Sorry, the humour that's packed into this game is just causing me to laugh. This game is just amazing. It's got a fantastic draw distance. It's so clear. Although it seems quite cartoony, the amount of details and the amount of things around you just make it seem so well made. This is just... Look, at I can see all the way to all those buildings over there. I'm looking down the road, I see building, 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 building. There's just so much happening here. And there's people walking around in the world. You're walking slow, then you're running fast. Like, we've seen this for quite a while, this slow walking, then running and everything. But the animations here just seem really smooth, really good. I, I, I just love it. Anyway, let's go into the Quickie Mart and get what we need you to get. You go inside certain buildings by pressing the triangle button. Ugh, why did I agree to do this stupid tutorial? It is so boring. <laughs> Finally, I agree on something. <laughs> Okay, let's get in. Talk to Apu. <gasps> Look at this quickie mart. There are a bunch of these scattered in each level. Little surprises are hidden inside each one. Be sure to come back again to see if there's something you missed. Easter eggs, in other words. <laughs> Crusty the Clown's even here. Okay, anyway, let's just talk to Apu. I'm just exploring this store. You just see stuff everywhere. And what are these? Oh, they've even got arcade machines in here. You've got Larry the Looter, Celebrity Autopsy. <laughs> What is this? Can you actually play these? Bargain table here, and you've got like teeth. You can even see on that vending machine it says 4.00. No check, no credit. There's information everywhere. Two hot dogs, 49 cents. Male and female bathroom. No checks, no credit cards, no food stamps. It's just stuff is everywhere. This whole place is just packed. Time to hey, talk to Apu. Give me a cola and I need another bucket of ice cream with mini pies. What happened to the ice cream with mini pies your wife bought this pies? Oh, I probably ate it. I don't remember stuff too good. <laughs> probably ate it. <laughs> okay, let's get it. Congratulations, Homer. Mission complete. Go back home and talk to Mom to start the next mission. That was ridiculously easy. One thing here that could be improved, did you see how we went into the store and it just kind of took us out of this outside world and took us into the inside world and now we're out of the store and you look back into the store it doesn't quite look the same as it did when we were in there it's like there's a little low detail model here it's like two kind of different world files it's loading that are separate possibly in the future when consoles evolve a little more we might be able to be walking right into a shop with no like transition or loading another part of the level just kind of a seamless walk-in. Anyway, let's go back home. There's just so much stuff here. I like, I don't even want to go back home. I just want to explore. Woohoo! I love senselessly pushing things. <laughs> Ooh, brain like shiny things. Oh, yeah, so we great. can go around those find coins. things are called coins. Whenever you get enough of those, you can get a cool surprise. You could have just said cars and clothes. I don't know what a cool surprise is. Whee! Look up here, we're just collecting cars. It would be cool to save up enough to buy a car. Oh, there's one of those camera things. Oh, cool. These boxes and a bunch of cash pops out. Nobody knows why these things have turned up all over Springfield. They always seem to turn up whenever something exciting happens. I don't know what they are, but violence is always an appropriate response in the face of the unknown. <laughs> in other words, break it. That's the stuff, psycho. 
And so it begins. There's too many tutorials here. Yeah. Apu on the top of his quickie mart, he had like 60 coins up here for people to just come and steal. That's just insane. Anyway, let's pop up here. There's some collector cards hidden all over Springfield. Find the other ones and sweet reward is yours for the taking. If you want to take a closer look at the cards, you can see them in the pause menu. And don't get your stinky fingers on them, fatty. Bouncy, bouncy. <laughs> that like was barely a good joke, but I laughed anyway. I'm soaring like a candy wrapper in an updraft. Out of all the things you could be soaring like, soaring like a candy wrapper. <laughs> okay, let's get back Chespy. to the car. Irving Chespy. I love to sit. <laughs> okay, let's make our way home. We'll finish. <laughs> There's like Randall physics. You can actually knock someone over and they go rolling. We'll get home first, do one more mission, and then we might explore some of the world here and graphics and that kind of thing. You almost licked me! I'm not a very good driver. <laughs> Only Lisa left for school without her science project. Can you get it to her? Oh, do I have to? You can drop it off on the way to work. And I have to go to work? <laughs> Okay, we've got to race way. Principal Skinner. So here's her science project. Now we've got to race him. Ah, here we go. Let's go. Where's Principal? Oh, there he is. Okay, we've got to speed past him. Wait, exactly why is a school principal driving like this on the road? I mean, <laughs> that's a bit insane. Anyway, let's get past him. Let's try and crash him. Eat my dust. So much for trying to crash him. Now it's here so fast. We've got to catch up. Come on, come on, come on. Well, we caught up quite good until I smashed into this. <laughs> Don't cry over spilt milk. I have to try that one again. That was actually a challenge to be honest, which is pretty bad because it's like only the beginning of the game and games usually get harder. Anyway, let's try this again. Okay, I'm not going to hit anything this time. That is my strategy. Way to ignore the speed limit. Okay. Go this way, around Principal Skinner. Don't do. Then people say I'm yes, young. I'm ahead of him. Wait a minute. Okay. That was an insult. We're gonna go around here. Yes, we're doing well. Take the strategy care. of not crashing into anything major Coming is through. working quite good. Where is this school? This world is actually decently big. I'm actually to the point where I could get lost in this world. Yes, we did it! Now we're gonna enter the school. Go, 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 go! Once again, that would be better if it was a seamless walk-in. Look at the detail here, you got a skateboard up there. Like, it really does feel like a poorly maintained school. Come on, come on. What's While he doing? We're young. <laughs> While we're young, they're not exactly young those two. Okay, anyway, let's give this to Lisa. Thanks for bringing me my model of the digestive system. Hey, where's the gallbladder? Well, I get hungry and it was a fig. It was modeling clay. Oh. <laughs> By the way, Dad, Mom called. She says she needs to talk to you at home before you go to work. Ow! <laughs> In your face! These missions look like they could kind of go on forever. So let's just kind of give the world a little bit of an explore now. Kind of see what it's made of, what everything looks like, the physics, just kind of a bit of everything. So let's go. Let's start going on a walk. We'll start off with this little girl here. I walked up to her, she stopped, and she looked at me. And she's not saying anything. That was a little bit creepy, <laughs> actually. Why do they just stand there staring at you, not saying anything? This is not very much like real life, I must admit. And if there was a place like this in real life, or I did see this in real life, I would be running right now. <laughs> now she speaks. So you have to kick her so she says, ow, and then she gets scared of you so she runs away. Now that is a little bit of intelligence in the artificial intelligence there. Now will this girl do the same thing? Staring into my chest, looking down at my belly. Out of my way, chump. And then they run off. Oh wait! She's not scared. I feel bad kicking people on YouTube. So this one is a little bit different. She will stand there. I'm sorry, this is a, at least there's, oh my god, she got run over by the school bus. Well, let's keep going. 
I think that's a girl's worst day of her life, kicked by a fat man on the street, then run over by her own school bus. Wow, See, at least this car doesn't run me over. If I stand in front of a car, it stops. It looks like the artificial car here, they know when to stop if you go in front of them. But if an artificial intelligence pedestrian walks onto the road and an artificial intelligence car is driving along, they will just knock over whatever is in the way. So they only care about us in this game. New popcorn shrimpy things. Okay, let's keep going. More money? Yes. Money seems really easy to come by in this game. If this game is really like Grand Theft Auto 3, let's try steal a car. Feel free to get a ride from anybody you see on the street. We Simpsons have done a lot for Springfield, so it's okay to get something back. A what? So unlike Grand Theft Auto, we didn't pull the person out of the car. We become the person driving the car, and they just give us a lift. As if normal people have time for that, but that's actually pretty cool. Now, is there a cop system in this game? Like, like Grand Theft Auto 3. Let's try and cause a bit of havoc. We'll run over a few people here, smash some stuff up here. <laughs> Whoa, this is insane, I was on a roof. See that yellow bar at the bottom? That looks like it could do something. Oh no, smoke's coming out of my car. Okay, so it does have a damage system here. <gasps> Whoa, what is that? I want to check this car out. This one actually looks really cool. Whoa, this is like a rocket car. Whoa, okay, 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 okay. I want to see how fast this can go. Let's get a fast bit here. Whoa, this is insane. Whoa, where am I? What's this hidden tunnel? Let me get out. Oh, I'm gonna get out of here. That car. <laughs> okay, so the car I was in has just exploded. Where am I? I'm totally lost now. What's this well, telephone I booth? Need a disco nap. Oh, so it looks like I'd have to buy those cars. So this is kind of a quick, if you want to get a car back, you just kind of call it up here. Can you come and get me? I'll pay you in back, Rob. I like how you can actually jump onto your car here. Wait, jump onto your car here and jump across to the back and that's pretty cool. Let's just keep exploring this little passage here. Look at this. We've got nuclear waste splashing down on us. This seems suspiciously 2D because I think this is 2D. Yes, this dropping waste here is following me. So it is a 2D sprite that always faces the player. I barely noticed it, but you can see it. See, it's kind of, it's always splashing in my direction, and it's on a pretty small loop. It's just like a one second just loop here. But it, yeah, it's definitely, it's always facing the player. I can see from side on and everything. Let's keep zooming by. I still haven't seen any cops in this game yet. Oh, crud, let's go through. Yes! That was a cool jump. Where am I? Oh, what? I'm at the Springfield Nuclear Power Plant. So I kind of did go to work. Okay. So much for avoiding work in this game. <laughs> you see that car actually hey, swerved. That guy was flying. His shadow did not match up with touching the ground as he actually was. So things aren't perfect in this game. Aha! Uh -huh. These plants use the classic tomato. Oh, that's like... I remember that episode of The Simpsons, so they're not actual real tomatoes. Tobacco tomatoes? Anyway. What's happening is, you can actually see here as we rotate the plants, they don't really have any depth. They're just simply two flat 2D sprites which have been interlocked with each other. And we have seen this quite often in gaming through the ages. But this strategy is definitely better than the always facing the player strategy. It has a bit more of a 3D look to it. <laughs> I like how destructible what? things are in this game. Yeah, look at that. You knock I knocked over that pole and it was quite... Okay, well, you can't knock over everything. You see it kind of fall. Those physics are pretty good. Okay, let's try and smash up some stuff to try and get cops onto us. This game seems so hard to get cops to chase you. Yes, oh crud, here's the cops. King Homer, if you dare. You can see them on the mini-map trying to chase us behind. Oh, here's another. Oh crud, crud don't call me. Will be Crap, the amount of smoke coming out of this car is insane. The one thing I feel about this oh, game is, although it did initially feel quite open, there always only seems to be one path to take. Like, see how I'm driving along this road? Good I feel like I'm only, and I escaped the cops. That was actually pretty easy, to be honest. Have you noticed this road ever come to an intersection or a split 
where I can go two different directions? Well, okay. <laughs> now it's trying to prove me wrong. It just, it seems very rare that I ever see intersections. Oh, cool. What do I got here? Whoosh. That is so cool. That just looks like a circle to me. Let, let me just test this out. Is this just a circle that it's taken us around? Yeah, there we go. That's where it started. That's right. Okay. So this whole thing is, oh, that was really just a circle. So it kind of gave us the illusion that we had lots of choice of places to go. You can go this way or this way. But really, there really only seems to be one path. It just seems like this game map is made up of one long winding path and there's not really much more to it than that. Before we finish up, let's look at some of the classic things here. We've got the First Church of Springfield. Come for the priests, take it for the food. <laughs> that is so religiously offensive. Let's check out the Simpsons house and Simpsons backyard and stuff. Because that is a pretty big thing about the Simpsons. So let's just make our way up there now. And the sound effects here are good. As, as you hit things, you hear... And they have different sounds. Like when I hit a car or a tree, they have different sounds to each other. And that's pretty cool. Anyway, we almost got the cops on us again. Let's check out the Simpsons house. We'll go around back. Coins just scattered everywhere. We've got the swings here, which I just broke. We've got this thingy, which just tried to kill me. We're stuck in a tree just for a moment. Been, just been. Oh, look at this. Climb up. Get this card. Me, yes, we got a card. Barbecue. Things seem a little violent here, to be honest. Can I get into the treehouse? Um, our neighbour seems to have a lot of stuff in his backyard. What about inside the Simpsons house? Because that's pretty classic, the inside. Let's just see how well it's been modelled. Wow, look at this. Although it's pretty closed off, I mean, I can't access that, and nor can he, he can't get in here either. I wish we could kind of just swap places so we could get to the other side of the house. That's the one thing about this game. It does look and feel open, but when you take a closer look, there's not really far that you can go. Let's go into the Flanders house. Oh, and that's his little underground bunker thing. Is that you, Lord? So many of the houses here seem to have backyards. Okay, so not all of these backyards have been modelled. Just kind of the main ones, it looks like. Like this dude's place with this sandpit. Bye. I can't seem to get into here either. This is the way into the cemetery. Oh, nice. These are actually pretty 3D, these trees here in the cemetery. The trees in here are very undetailed though. They kind of look like green hot dogs on a stick. Anyway, I think we'll finish this game up here. Overall though, from what I've seen, this game does look pretty fun. Cool collectible things to find. The driving is actually pretty exciting. Funny humour here, like the world's largest toilet over there. And just lots of really funny phrases and things hidden in this 3D world. And from what I've seen, the textures, although still a little blurry, they're not too bad. Like this road here has quite a bit of depth and the ground changes quite a bit here. You've got the road here which has a few little green spots and different patches of colour on it. You've got the ground here, you've got a bit of green stuff leaking out of a pipe on the ground. There's quite an amount of decent detail here. Some things like this door here and this window, it still looks quite blurry when you go close up. So one day it'll be interesting to see when things eventually get so crystal clear. But the draw distance here, I've got to admit, is pretty good. You can see things quite far out and a long way away. Anyway, as fun as this game was, it is now time to move on to the next game. So where to next from here? The year in the next episode will be 2004, which for once actually will introduce us to some new 6th generation consoles. First of all, we have the Atari Flashback. Since this console is just a plug and play version of the Atari 2600 and Atari 7800 with classic games built in, it's not quite appropriate for showing off the cutting edge graphics of 2004, so we'll have to skip this one. Next up we have the V-Smile, which won't be released worldwide until 2005, but it does have a limited release in 2004. This console has a strong focus on educational games for children aged 3 to 7. Its main purpose is to allow them to play games like Elmo's Big Discoveries and Care Bears, a lesson in caring, rather than being exposed to the more violent games such as Grand Theft Auto San Andreas for the PlayStation 2, which will also be released next year in 2004. Overall though, I think we'll give the V-Smile a miss for this series. Last up we have the Zabbix, which has a small library of sports games like bowling, tennis and golf stored on cartridges. 
The wireless controllers are shaped like sports equipment, such as baseball bats and tennis rackets, and have sensors in them that allow users to interact with the game, displayed through the console on the television. This was a very minor console, however, so we'll stick to the main consoles of the 6th generation. Don't worry though, something tells me the 7th generation is right around the corner. Anyway, for the next episode, pick a game made in 2004 for the PlayStation 2, GameCube, or not the Xbox. I'll see you guys next time on Gaming Through the Ages. <laughs>